Hi, hello and welcome. It's me Vignesh here and this is your favorite V and Data channel. Today we will be seeing an association algorithm called a priori. It's an unsupervised learning algorithm. We will see how to code it in Python. Okay. For that, let's pass on to a video. As discussed earlier in this video, we will be seeing a priori algorithm. For that, I have chosen a data set, a grocery uh, store data set. Okay? It doesn't have a header. That's the reason we are going to apply unsupervised learning algorithm association. Okay? Uh, milk, bread, biscuit and this is some of the combination bread, milk, uh, maggie, uh, bread, tea, biscuits. These are the combinations of transaction which has taken place already. Okay? and the data set is gathered. This is a sample data set where we are going to apply a priori algorithm and association rules to check on how the association between the products are there. Okay. And um, this is the sample code which I have developed for it. Okay. How to implement a priori algorithm to a data set. These are the libraries which are needed for this program. First one is a pandas. I have imported it and then uh, ML extend. It's another library where I have chosen the pre-processing frequent patterns. From pre-processing, I have imported uh, transaction encoder, and from ML extend frequent patterns, a priori algorithm is imported, as well as the association rule is also imported. Then I am setting the data frame. Pandas pandas is imported as PD, right? I am setting the pandas data frame to display all the columns, maximum number of columns. If there are 100 columns, 100 columns will be displayed, 1000, 1000, depends upon the number of columns. And also displaying maximum rows, that is, if there are 10,000 rows, right, the first 10 rows will be displayed, head and tail will be alone will be displayed. So I am setting this to maximum, so all the rows shall be displayed, okay, none, none. Then the data set is loaded from uh, CSV pd.readcsv since it is a uh, comma separated file I am loading it in a csv format using pandas into data it is in the vn data code and files data grocery store data set dot csv I am setting the header is equal to none that is because since the data set has does not have any header right if I am not setting the header is equal to none this first row shall be taken as header so I am setting it to a uh, header is equal to none. If that is the case, uh, the first row will will not be taken as header and a zero will be added to the header alone. I am printing the data dot info. Then I am changing the data into a uh, list. Okay. We will print the data again here. And after changing the data that into a list, we will print it again. Okay, we shall run it now. Right click, run a priori. Okay, this is the info of it. The range index is, is 0 to 19, and it's, everything is an object. Okay, after that, since I've said the header is equal to none, as I told you, 0 is been assigned as the header. Okay. There, there is no, uh, since if I am not setting this to the header is equal to none, right? Milk, bread, biscuit will be taken as a, taken as a header. This is print data. There are nearly 20 entries starting from 0 till 19. After that, I had changed the data into a list with a split after comma, each and every comma. Okay. This is a single list. List, item 1, item 2, item 3. In this list, there are item 1, item 2, item 3 and so on. Okay. After changing the data into a list, right, I am using the transaction encoder and passing it to TE. In TE data, I am fitting the transaction encoder to the data and transforming the data as well. Here itself, a single step. Fit and transform. After that, right, I am changing the transformed data uh, into a, a data frame. P data frame, TE data, columns equal to TE columns. This columns is right. T columns will be the uh, products, each and every product. Now, after that, I am printing the data frame as well. Okay. We shall run till this now. 
okay as you can see right as i told you the product name shall be encoded into a uh, the headers and each and every value will, will be changed into true false that is in the first transaction right milk bread biscuit is present but in the total num in this total 20 transaction the number of products were uh, around 11 okay so the biscuit was present in the first transaction true uh, bone vita bread bone vita was not present so false bread was present true uh, coffee other things were not, not present so everything is false milk was present so it is true so depending upon the transaction which is present and not present if it is present in that transaction it will be encoded as true and if it is not present in that transaction it will be encoded as false okay this is the fit and transform of transaction encoder okay now after transforming the data right i am now applying the a priori algorithm to that data frame df minimum support is 0.01 I am using the columns true and then printing the df1 the a priori algorithm which is applied to the df is passed to df1 so I am printing it and after printing right I am sorting the values by support okay ascending is equal to false then after that I am creating another variable called uh, df underscore ar that is for association rules and then passing that a priori applied algorithm the df1 that is to the association rules metric equal to confidence the minimum threshold equal to 0 0.5 then i am printing the association rules uh, past data frame that is df underscore r as well okay now we shall run this fully run a priori okay Since I have sent the PD dot uh, maximum columns and rows to none, all the rows and columns shall be printed. See, till this we saw uh, for this transaction encoder. After this, I am uh, this is for the support. Okay, DF one is printed. Support was zero point three five for the item sets biscuits and zero point two zero for bone beta, zero point six five for bread and zero point one five for cock and zero point four zero for coffee, conflex, jam, etc. Okay, this is single for each and every support for uh, single products, for double products, triple, and number of products still four. Okay, conflex, tea, milk, coffee, 0 0.05. This is the sorted values. Okay, in ascending order. Sorry, in this and ascending equal to false order. Okay, the first is 0 0.65 bread. That is 65 percentage uh, out of 100 were bread and 40 percentage out of 100 were coffee this is support See, and 35 percentage of uh, 100 were biscuits and so on okay this is the uh, support after the support right we win for the uh, association rules okay for this association rules right right uh, antidescents antidescents consequence and uh, support will be there okay and lift will be there okay and how is the thing one second anti okay anti uh, antecedent support consequence support support confidence lift this antecedent support is for this value and consequence support is for the consequent support and this support is for support between the antecedent uh, and the consequent support okay this is 35 percentage of out of 100 65 percentage out of 100 and 20 percentage out of 100 this is total support for this item okay what is the item the item shall be um, biscuit and bread okay support was 20 percent on the whole and the confidence was 57 57 and the lift was 87 and so on Okay, leverage is minus 0 0.027 and uh, convection was 0 0.81. Like this is the association rule values for on the whole products and the combinations of it. Okay, the products were 11, the total combinations were around uh, 145. Okay, 
this is the association rules and the values for the association association rules that is support lift uh, antecedent uh, support consequent support and so on showing this is thing okay consequent support antecedent support support co confidence and lift okay this is how uh, like you will check the association rule values for the uh, data okay today we saw unsupervised learning association algorithm that is a priori and association rules for a data set how to code it in python in the next video we will see another algorithm until then it's me vignesh here thank you